Mean Girls, the musical is in town, and for some of the cast and crew at Hershey Theater, it's a homecoming. The head of the wardrobe department grew up right here in the mid-state. Our Sonica Bargo headed over to talk with her. For Maddie Simpson. For this to be our first job out of college is insane. The limit to her career does not exist. You kind of feel invincible after doing this. We're like, oh, anything else will be easy compared to this. Just months after graduating college, she's leading the wardrobe department for the national tour of Mean Girls, the musical. Being on tour was always like an end goal for me. So the fact that this is happening so early is crazy. I thought I was going to start as an assistant and then maybe work my way up at some point. And it's not like she doesn't even go here. Simpson went to Mechanicsburg High School and graduated from Penn State in May. So this is a fun full circle moment to be back on a, my very first tour. Simpson is no stranger to theater. Her parents both worked in the field. So I grew up backstage and learning how the magic of theater happens. She loved costumes. And I was always fascinated with the quick changes and the set changes. But didn't think it was a realistic career. That changed when she got to college. And I learned how vast the world of costumes is and how many opportunities there are. I want to do that forever. <laughs> After at least a dozen shows at Penn State. Costume designing a show where the set was a pool of water. This is her first big girl job, dealing with over 200 costume changes every night. Some of the changes are 30, 35 seconds. And solving problems during the show. Oh, my shoelace broke or the button fell off of my shirt. It's all worth it when she sees it come together on stage. She put on her... Um, opening outfit with the, the khakis and whatnot and she was like oh okay I'm, I'm Katie now. And Simpson has some advice for the theater kids out there. Fetch might never happen but a career in theater can. There's so many people that say you know it's a hobby it's not worth it you're never gonna make any money and it's just not true. There's so many opportunities and then you get to make magic happen for people literally all over the world. Sonica Bargo ABC 27 News.